basically your Brita filter. Just much, much bigger. Uh, yeah, and just a little more complicated, too. Clean drinking water is more important than ever, and no one takes that more seriously than the Great Lakes Water Authority. This is the raw water coming in at the source. It looks clean, but it's not clean. It's not until you get to this end where you actually have the tap water. This is your drinkable water. So what happens before you turn that faucet for that glass of water? I was given a behind the scenes tour of the whole process. Our drinking water gets pumped in from the Detroit River, from a station in Belle Isle. Filters catch small and large items. Basically, it's like a screen door, and it's capturing the much smaller stuff, smaller twigs, fish, folks' shoes. The water is initially pre-treated with chemicals, the first of many steps. The cleaner we get it up front, the easier it is for us to ensure its quality leaving the plant. The pre-treatment helps with taste and odor. The water then flows in here. It's quickly mixed, then slowly mixed with more chemicals. How much water is in here? Uh, probably a good million gallons. It's churned by fans underwater. They actually look like large ceiling fans inside a basin. What you're looking at here is a process called flocculation, where any floating dirt clumps together. The reason why that's so important, that because we're clumping that dirt together, we want it to stay together. The clumped up dirt then gets heavy and falls to the bottom of the bins. As you can see the dirt as it collects. The dirt falls while the water rushes out to its next filtration spot, where they use ozone, which is 3,000 times more powerful than chlorine. The technology is so new and proprietary that we weren't allowed to show it. But okay, back to the stuff we can show. Remember that dirt, the gunk that's left over? We're not quite done with that yet. So I'm gonna show you what we do with the gunk. <laughs> we're gonna process the gunk? Yes, we are. Well, how about that? So these are centrifuges. Basically, it's the spin cycle in a washing machine. That allows us to spin off the water collect the solids, and the solids go up that black band into a, a, a truck, and we send it off to landfill. So the next uh, process in our treatment is filtration. That's a polishing effect of the water. This is where the chemists get to work. We have chemists who work 24-7 that double check everything that instrumentation is doing. They make adjustments all day long to the chemical process to ensure that these 70 million gallons that leave every single day are clean. Every day, every minute of the day, we have to adapt uh, to what's coming in and make the appropriate adjustments and so that we always are achieving our final goal. Which is clean water. Absolutely. Derek Kevra, Fox 2 News.